Today is November 10th, on which we commemorate Leo the Great, Bishop of Rome. Leo was born in Tuscany around AD 400, and while still a deacon, had already become an influential figure in the Roman Church. About 440, he was sent by the Emperor to broker a political dispute in Gaul. When he returned to Rome, he found that the Pope had died, and he had been elected to succeed him. During his time as Pope, Leo did much in word and in deed to consolidate the power of the Bishop of Rome. Theologically, he battled several heresies and most notably settled the controversies of the Council of Chalcedon concerning the nature of Christ. His letter to the Council, called the Tome of Leo, was unanimously accepted as the defining statement on the dual nature of Christ. This set a precedent of the Bishop of Rome being the final arbiter in matters of doctrine. Leo also wielded political authority in a time when the Emperor of Rome was increasingly weak and inept. It was Leo who persuaded Attila the Hun not to invade the city of Rome in 451, and Leo who restrained the Vandals from massacring the population when they sacked the city in 455. It was Leo who then oversaw the rebuilding of the city. By the time of his death in 461, he was clear where the true seat of power was in Rome. Let us pray. O Lord our God, grant that your church, following the teaching of your servant Leo of Rome, may hold fast the great mystery of our redemption and adore the one Christ, true God and true man, neither divided from our human nature nor separate from your divine being. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Oh,